Hey, All right, boys, thank you. A couple of quick things. Uh, oh, here's a couple of voicemails that came in. This one's been sitting around for a while. I, I haven't played it for one reason or another. This is a, I'll just start here. This is Wendy the retard who is upset because she has no money. <laughs> you know, that's Why a, should she have money? Right, and, and she's upset that we're having fun <laughs> with money and she's not. Here's Wendy the retard with a, yet another plea. I hope you all are satisfied. You all get to go out and have more fun. And I have to sit here and go nuts. And there is no food in this house again. Oh, no. You can't even help me out with paying my death bills to send me some birthday money down here because my birthday is coming up. No, I can't go out and have a little fun. No, you all just want me to sit here to, to go nuts until I go crazy. Well, screw you all. I guess I got to go rob the effing bank if I want to go out and have me <laughs> some... Imagine a retarded bank I robber. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> she went out and tried to rob a bank. Got them fun. fun. You all don't... Wanna keep me happy? <laughs> Whatever. Uh, it's a very odd way of asking for money. Yelling at the people. Yeah, b belittling us, badgering us, and calling us names. Debbie she wants to be happy. Wendy, the uh, retard, gave it to me in the voicemail. Oh dear. She goes, "I hope you're satisfied, Howard. I'm sitting here bored." <laughs> Oh, that's great. I love her. Howard, I hope you know, are you satisfied? I'm down here, bored as can be, with nothing to do, and you're up there, and you are up there having fun. What about me? Hey, I'm, I'm talking to Howard. Poor mother. Howard, this is your last chance to send some money down here, so I can go out and have some fun. Or otherwise, I'm, you're going to have me come up there. One or the other, Howard. Make up your mind. Hmm. Yeah, she's been you calling. think you can get, she can get here? I don't know. She's been calling nonstop. She wants money. One time she called me from the Walmart parking lot, and she was bragging <laughs> that she'd been there longer than anybody. Uh, she what just does sits, that mean? She sits at the Walmart parking lot all day. Oh, jeez. Yeah, it's kind of hard to understand, but I, I've, I've spent time deciphering this. Howard, uh, it's me, Wendy. Uh, you will never uh, guess what I'm sitting at Walmart Personal, um, since, uh, since nine something. So, it's right now 1.06 a.m. in the morning. Yeah, she's been there since nine in the morning till one in the morning at the Walmart parking lot. Nine in the morning till 1 a.m.? Yeah. She just sits there. So, I'll probably, probably be home around either 1.30 or 2. So in the morning, so I don't know if I'll be up tomorrow to talk to you because I really need to talk to you. It's important. <clears throat> Whenever you get this message, call me later. Yeah. You're supposed to call her? Did you call her? No, I, <laughs> I never did, but I guess I should. But she was at the Walmart parking lot. That's amazing. I mean, how do you stay out there that long? No. And you have nothing to do, and you're retarded. It's like <laughs> that's easy. Yeah. Anybody, you know, anybody who's not retarded would be difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Everything amuses her. For her, it's like a video game. Right, just watching the cars come and yeah. go. You know, it's funny. I forgot that high pitch Eric made out with Wendy the retard. Uh huh. Because um, Rachel Fine on Fine Time interviewed high pitch Eric. Oh, yeah. Daddy. And she she gave him the simplest questions. You would have thought he was like trying to answer like a, an algebraic equation. He had to put so much. <laughs> she asked him an F. Mary Kell between, I guess it was uh, Wendy the retard. I forget who the other two were, but he said he would marry Wendy the retard because he's already made out. Oh, I don't remember that. But when Rachel Fine asked him that question, you would have thought it was like trying asking him to interpret Einstein's theorem. <laughs> F. Mary Kill, Wendy the retard, Gary the retard, or Bigfoot. Oh, that's tough. What's tough about that? They oh, gave you two guys and a girl. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> two guys. <laughs> I think there's two guys involved and it's tough. Marry Wendy. Marry Wendy. I would have to... Why would you marry Wendy? 
because we made out in Vegas. And it was good? Yes. Okay. Oh, so gross. Very windy. I would have to... Hmm. Wow, what would I do? <laughs> this is a real tough one. Uh, yeah, it is, it's really tough. Maybe he thinks he really has to go out and kill them. <laughs> Did I say I would marry Wendy? He said you'd marry Wendy. We <laughs> went through the makeout. Yep. Wow. Well, I would have to hmm. kill Bigfoot. Okay. How come? Because <laughs> <sighs> he's a pain in the ass. Okay. All right. And I would have to. I don't even so that just leaves one choice. <laughs> you, it's, you're going to F uh, Gary the retard. Yeah, because he smokes way too much, so fuck him. Okay, that was profound. All right, there you go. So there's the F. Mary Kill. But who is it grosser for, Wendy or Eric? That's what I can't figure out. Like, who's grosser out of those two? I don't know. Yeah. Hmm. On any given day, it's a horse race. Yeah. You're not kidding. Mama Mia. All right, uh... Wendy the retard's been calling like crazy. She wants money so badly. You know, you know what happened, I think, with her? Every what? Like, every Christmas and certain holidays, I used to always come up with money for her. And so finally I said to her, listen, this is it. I'm going to give you a bunch of money, and then we'll stop. And, and then she goes, okay. But then Christmas comes around, and she's expecting money. She doesn't really believe that I'm not going to give her money. And and she's already spent the money. She's already like oh, planned for it. Oh, you think she's she's spending out, money she doesn't it, have, right? Thinking it's coming. And we've called Wendy's mom, and we said, "Gee, Wendy's calling out for money." Sometimes she says she has no money for food. Right? She's eating out of dumpsters. Yeah, and they and her mom goes, "That's just not that you know that's not true." But who is telling Wendy? Wendy couldn't make this stuff up herself. She hears it from somebody. I think it's the other radio stations telling you. <laughs> you bid promise me and promise me and promise me that you'll call me and let me know when you have any day of money. And what do you do? You never call me. By the way, that's her new Freddy Krueger voice. Oh, is it? Because yeah, I wondered it. what that was. I know everything about Wendy. <laughs> Howard, you're driving me nuts. I told you I got things that have to take care of and replace down here. Oh. Mm. She's frustrated. You're... Your fist is going to make me explode in a minute. Hmm. If you don't keep your promises, mm. <laughs> I guess I got to go to Windisi Dumpster and try and get me my dinner or something. <laughs> See? Because the I'm almost... She's going to the Winn-Dixie Dumpster <laughs> to get dinner. And, I, you know, I hear that in my heart breaks, but it's not It's not the case. So food stamps. <laughs> Guess I'll talk to you all later on. Right. Yeah, she's got to get busy and go find dinner. And what it, what it, what really is, you know, we conduct a business. Is she clogs up the answering machine all night and day? Really? Yeah. She okay, Heather. After you just drove drove me nuts after all the promises that you kept me, after you just drove me nuts, I just pee myself. Now I gotta go change my wet pants and my wet diaper. <laughs> I hope you're yeah. satisfied now. She started wearing a diaper about a year ago. Is that right? Yeah, because she shits and pisses like where in her pants. Well, how did she forget toilet training? Uh, I think she just got so fat and lazy that she just like she just shits right in her oh. pants, and then she like deals with it later. Jeez. <laughs> I think so. This is what she claims. You made me explode. So I think her mom made her wear a diaper now. Yikes! Yeah. Made me pee myself <laughs> and my diaper and my pants, and now I gotta try and dry my mom's rug in her room yeah. before she gets home. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Oh my God. Yeah. If she's wearing a diaper, how did it get on the floor? Because what do you think? She puts the diaper on appropriately? She oh, really they... exploded, Gary. Yeah. I mean, that shit flew right out of the diaper. <laughs> <laughs> that piss just went right down her leg. Diapers. And, and who knows what's going on there? She, could she really be remembering to wear a diaper? Probably pees, <laughs> thinks she has a diaper. She doesn't have a mom's copper. The mom's probably like, well, just do it on the ceramic tile or linoleum, whatever's in that house. But she called. I'm not going to play every single one, but she calls. God. So Wendy, the retard, uh, left a bunch of messages where I guess she's down on her luck. 
<laughs> How could she be more down on her luck than when we first met her? I don't know. But... Is she down on even retarded luck? <laughs> yes. Yeah, she... So there were there were four rapid fire voicemails in a in a row, and it's funny. Like you listen to these, and she doesn't even sound that retarded because like when when women start whining for money and things, they all sound the same. They Is do. That what you're saying I, there's yeah, a lesson here. Cuts across all boundaries. Women sound retarded. They do. <laughs> hey, Howard, it's been Wendy. Why? Haven't you called me? I really need your support here, Howard. You know, we have too much problems around here. So I guess you don't care anymore. You never there for me, and I'm always there for you. <laughs> Just got the flu yesterday. And I really need your support here, Howard, because I really need to get me some orange juice <laughs> and some stuff. Yeah. If you're not there for me, Howard, then I won't be there for you anymore when you need me to do stuff. Because I'm tired of this bullshit. To respond or forward, <laughs> press 1. I love that she gets cut off. Oh, that doesn't stop her. She's right back on. <laughs> when it gets worse, she starts crying, and it's it's really she intense. She really needs orange juice, Howard. How could you not call her back? I'm thinking of calling her back and just telling her she's a millionaire. I don't know what the problem is. She's in Florida. She can't find fucking orange juice. <laughs> oh, and another thing, Howard. If you're, if you're always going to be selfish, stingy, or whatever, and don't want to help support me or anything, because I know you really don't care about me anymore. All you care about is yourself. You never have me back up in New York anymore. So whatever. If you're just going to be a st stubborn, selfish old man who just don't want to help me out, then fuck off. Wow. She does sound like a chick. It's like having a girlfriend without the sex. <laughs> yeah, you've all of a sudden gotten into a relationship here. All of a sudden, I'm responsible for her well-being. And by you the way, don't we don't have her, care of her. We don't have her up to New York because, first of all, it's not like Wendy hops on a plane and comes here. No, they have to drive. Her mom has to take off from work and drive her here. It takes a week to get her here. And it's a, kind of a hardship for them to come up here, so we don't bother them. I mean, I love Wendy. I'd have Wendy on every week if she was here. Well, no, you don't support her. You don't want to give her, take no. care of her. That's true. And when was she there for you? I, I don't recall <laughs> yeah, no. that time. She just seems to call me all the time. <laughs> no, I really appreciate this, Sarah. I really appreciate it. This is bullshit. You're nothing but a selfish old man. You know that? You're nothing but a selfish old man. Never, ever, ever, ever. You never, never, ever want to help me out anymore. So why should I even fucking bother? You're just a fucking old bitch. So oh. go to hell, you old fat ass fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Why does she call you a fat ass? That's not true. Yeah, all right. It's, a little, it's got a little cellulite, but yeah. if she's referring to the fart man years, I've gotten in shape since then. That's right. She hasn't seen you in a while. Gary, fire off a uh, signed photo of myself to Wendy the retard. <laughs> a nice one. Big one. With some orange juice. Right. And another thing, Howard, if you really, really do care about me, you would help me out. But no, you're just a stubborn old selfish prick and dick. You always have to be selfish. You never have me up there anymore. So what the fuck ever. If you don't care about me, fine. Then fuck you and <laughs> leave me a fuck alone and just let me go be in bed to my poor old life where I can't even afford anything if you're just going to be a stubborn bastard. I hate you, Howard. You know what? I really fucking hate you. <laughs> Wait a minute. I got to figure this out. Harsh you, words, Wendy. Wait a minute. She says that if you're not going to help her out, she'll just go back to her old life Gee, there's a where she couldn't afford anything. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy. Yes, Howard? That is not nice. I'm sorry, Howard. Just that was aggravating. Plus, so my stuff got ruined because... We had a couple of bad storms up here for, for a week now, and it, it just cleared up, and our house, we had... Yeah, but honey, it's not my problem. I mean, I put you on the air because you call in, and I'm always there for you when you call. I know, 
was just I mean, I don't know who else is it. I'm just angry because so much of government, we had a tank, septic tank problem because we had... Do you know what she's rattling on about? A septic tank problem. Oh. And we had well, she takes we a turd had... that's the size of a fucking snake. <laughs> Could you and imagine and what that had smells to like? The house. Yeah, but, but honey, what, I mean, what does that got to do with me? I'm just saying my mom is tired of... My mom now owes my dad almost $2,000 because she's tired of asking for money. Yeah, well, welcome to the real world. And I wish that you could help me out so I can help her out. You got to start taking smaller shifts. Because we don't have a stove. <laughs> that would be a good step. We don't have a stove. Our stove. You don't have a stove. What, yeah, what stove? kind of place are you living in? We didn't need a stove when you just ordered pizza. We're living in the house. Heating up, Artie. Heating up. Oh. <laughs> well, maybe if you stop spending all your money on Pizza Hut, you'd have something. Yeah, you could cook at home. It's a lot cheaper. I've been paying some of my bills too because I have a phone. I I. My mom has me pay half of the rent here. We're on. You pay half the rent? You don't have a job. I know. I get paid by the government. Oh. But how that's much... right. You should contribute to the rent. Yeah, but how much money does a retarded woman need? I mean, you, you know, you get, you get a check. What Somebody's... have you been doing with I your money? I don't get much on the check, though. Some of it but that's goes... good. Your mom probably smart. She probably takes all that money and keeps it for herself. No, some of it goes to the bills, and plus, I pay my... I have a cell phone now. What does it cost to well, stop making phone calls? What does it cost to smear your face with your own feces? <laughs> no, but I mean seriously, you're just wasting money. You're well, out. You're calling Pizza Hut when you can be cooking at home. And plus, I have kids. To we have kids here to feed. We have three kids. What well, kids? wait a minute. Nobody told you to have children. Kids? No, not me. I'm babysitting uh, my brother's kids. He got married to Megan. Does anybody have a job? Yeah, because I mean, if you're babysitting, they should be paying you. Right. Yeah. Well, I'm doing it because they don't pay me. I'm doing it. Yeah, it sounds like the cheapos are in your family, not me. I've well, given you money. What, what's your brother just, you ma your brother married Megan, had kids, and then left? What, what, where is he? He's still here. But why yeah, but are you taking care of them? Because because he doesn't come home till Sunday. He's on, like, work release. Uh, what? <laughs> work release? <laughs> yes. What, what do you mean, work release? Was he in jail? Yes. <laughs> what was he in jail for? <laughs> Uh, he, um, had a couple, you know, he violated probation or something. <laughs> wow. And plus, I babysit my sister, kid, Alex. Well, your well sister shit, we can't kid. support all these people. Your brother married Megan? Isn't Megan your sister? Yes. And they got married? Yes. Your brother to and sister got married? Yes. To each other? Yes. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it, Wendy. And they had kids? Yes. Are the kids retarded? Uh, sort of. Uh, <laughs> of course. You're telling me your brother married your sister? Yes. Is this true? Yes, he married Megan, and my sister, she has a boyfriend named Tommy, but she already had it. Alice is like almost five years old. I think what she's saying is she's referring to her sister-in-law as her sister. It's her sister, yeah. I don't think Megan is her sister. And plus, they go to school now. What go? Who's going to school? Jacqueline and Alex. And All right, I, my head's going to explode. La, it's very complicated there, Wendy. We it, can't keep up. This is the greatest thing ever. <laughs> Maybe I should give Wendy some money to like let her play a game, and if she wins the game... Wendy, if, if you win a game, we'll send you some orange juice. <laughs> and you're always getting the flu. You what? What? Why are you? Well, so she's sick overweight. All the time? She's overweight, and she eats Pizza Hut all day. You'd be sick too. Oh, How big was the last shit you took? No, I don't eat. I don't eat pizza all day. I mean, I go to the store with my mom, and sometimes we go out to eat like at a Chinese restaurant. What do you Chinese. weigh now? What do you weigh now? I weigh like two twenty. Yeah. <laughs> How many shits do you take a day? I take maybe like six a day. Six <laughs> shits a day. <laughs> Now, why do you assess pull is all clogged yeah, up? Yeah, of course no, it's full. What a lady. <laughs> and plus, uh, we're, I'm trying to keep up with my bills, and I'm trying to help my mom. Through what bills do you have? Bed. I have to pay some of the uh, long-distance call I make on, my, on the well, Who are you calling? Phone. Us. I call my boyfriend. Yeah, well, uh, stop, Wendy. That's costing the family money. you got to be responsible. I know you're retarded, but so what? Those are you're... not your boyfriends. That one. Get a local boyfriend you can talk to in person. <laughs> when you uh, shit, is it, right. you get the, does it get like the splats? Yes. Oh, it does. Be you don't ever take a solid bowel movement? 
Uh, sometimes, yeah, but mostly I have diarrhea. Oh. <laughs> and do you wipe yourself? Yes. With what, just dry paper? Yes. Do you, do you shower yes. afterwards? You... Yes, I shower afterwards, and I use baby wipes, too. Wow. How many flushes to get it all down? Uh, maybe two flushes. Are your underwear ever stained with it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to ask you a question. Oh, stop, Art. And if you get it right. <laughs> does it That's ever, not funny. Do you ever, <laughs> does it ever drip on the floor? Yes. Yeah. Oh, that bowl must be a mess. I learned there ever shit on your socks. Yes. <laughs> All right, I'm going to ask you a question. And if you get it. <laughs> yes, we must send her money. <laughs> You have so many more problems. Wendy, I'm going to ask you a question. If you get it right, I'm going to give you $500 from mangroomer.com. <laughs> Man Groomer, you can use it on your... The new Man Groomer is the essential do-it-yourself electric back hair shaver. Do you have a big Wendy. bush? Yeah. Do you have hair on your back? Yes. Go to mangroomer.com to get yours today. All right. You ready? Yes. All right, Wendy. If you take shit, six shits oh. a day... <laughs> And a dog eats two of them, how many movements are left? Four. Right. Wow. Is that the question? That was it. You, you win. You win $500. Thank you, Howard. And I'm really sorry, Howard. Did um, you really mean it when you said you hated Howard? No. Yeah, I know she did. I didn't mean You're mean. I didn't mean to say that. It's just that I was aggravated, and, you know, and, you know, Stuff goes on, you know, everybody pressures me, like, at the ball and I, I have to tell my boyfriend all because he always says this, that, that, and I know he's cheating on me and he won't admit it, and I just called him up last night on the phone <laughs> saying, are you cheating on me? And he said, no, he will not admit it, so I'm going to... Do you know. have sex with him? No. Yeah. We just met at the ball now like, two weeks ago, and... And he's already cheating? Yes. And I'm getting ready to kick his butt if he don't admit it to me this Saturday. Is he not having sex with someone else? Yeah, he told me that. I said, this is bullshit. All right, all right. Listen, hey, Wendy. Wendy, do you ever shit at the bowling alley? Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> do you ever? Does it ever get on the floor of the bowling alley? Yes. <laughs> all right, I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this story. Last Saturday, I was bowling, right? I had to, I had to set the ball... Down, I had to set the ball down real quick, and my um, number two was just starting to come out, and I ran to the bathroom. Oh. I ran to the bathroom, so it was leaked out, and I ran to the bathroom, and I accidentally missed the toilet. I fell on the floor. And I, on the toilet. I had to clean it up before someone comes in the restroom. Well, let me get this straight. You were at the bowling alley. You started to feel some like turtle head coming out. Okay, so you run into the bathroom, which was smart. And what are you wearing? Pants or a dress? Uh, pants. Pants. And you run in. Yeah. So you were. So you were. You you had your pants and your underpants down. Yes. And then you slipped. Yes. And then you fell, and the shit came out onto the floor. Yes. And then you were embarrassed. Yeah. So you went and you got toilet papers and cleaned up the to the duty on the floor? Yes. Oh. Did anyone see this happen? Yes. Who saw it? My friend Cheryl. And what did she did she help you clean the duty? Yes. She did. That's a good yes. friend. No, you should say my great friend Cheryl. <laughs> did any of it stay on the floor? Did it stain the floor? Uh yes, sorta. Of. All right. Did you use some water on the tissue yes. paper? Yeah. Did you get any of the shit underneath your fingernails? Yes. Oh my god, and you went back to bowling? No, I washed my hands before I went back to bowling. <laughs> and when after the shit came out on the floor, it was a, a solid shit, so it was one shit laying on the floor? Yeah. Okay. And what did you bowl that night? <laughs> <laughs> what was your score? I bowled 150. 150. Well, impressive. Oh, didn't hurt your game. Did, did, have you ever gone to the bowling alley and accidentally <laughs> shit your pants? Yes. And then what do you do? Do you finish the game when the shit... No, I run to the bathroom... Change it to my extra clothes I carry, and then oh. go back and finish. You, so you have lots of accidents because you carry extra clothing. She right. changed into in case I ship my pants clothes. Yeah. <laughs> now, she carries in case right, I Wendy, ship my pants clothes. Wendy, you've won $500. Clothes. Congratulations. Thank you, Hal. Do you ever miss the toilet at home? Yes. 
And that happens a lot? Yes. And, and my mom yells at me. She said, you idiot. And then she, you know, gently slapped me over the head. She told me that I ain't blew it till I clean it up. Oh, boy. All right. Thank you, Wendy. Uh, Is your mother slowly trying to die? No. <laughs> Hold on. All right. Oh, wait. Yucko wanted to speak to you. Do you want to speak to him? Yes. What is it, Yucko? Hey, uh, Mongoloy, why don't you quit bitching, huh? Oh, uh, come on, Yucko. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, so I... Well, Bendy, you don't have to apologize. It's okay. But you should apologize to Howard. Yeah, they, me, I, you, you owe an apology to. Honestly, you do. I'm sorry, Howard. I'm really, um, I didn't mean what I said. I'm sorry, Howard, because I was aggravated, and I had all these kids pressuring me. Who's right. pressuring you? Well, she's, she's under pressure. She's a babysitter, and she has a boyfriend who's in the middle of you a whole You know who you should apologize to is the janitor at the bowling alley. <laughs> Hey, Wendy, you realize this so-called boyfriend, he's not really your boyfriend. He's, he's, you know. How could it be this bad after two weeks? Right. Well, it just is. First, he told me to change my hair. First, he told me to color red. I've been coloring red. Now I'm going back to, uh... Mousy Bur brown? Burgundy. Burg bird what? Burgundy. You Burgundy? Know, like, Burgundy. Purple? Burgundy. <laughs> uh, has your boyfriend ever heard you fart? Yes. And he, and he gets mad because I fart a lot and I can't help it. And <laughs> well, because you eat a tremendous amount. Is your boyfriend retarded? Yes. All right. Have you kissed him? Yes, sort of. A bunch of times that when we get together at the ball now and when we have a party or something. Yeah. When the recent polls have shown a fifth of Americans can't locate the United States on a world map, why do you think that is? Uh, because because um, people need to ask for directions that they can't. And get any directions that they need to go to a gas station or something and get directions and and if they can't get anybody to help them I'll help I'll help them how to get to wherever they need to go. See, your answer is as good as that girl who was Miss Teen USA. It, it made it as much sense. sense. Yeah. yeah. All right, thank you, Wendy. And uh, you got five hundred dollars from mangroomer.com. It's a great do-it-yourself electric pack, pack hair shaver. It's it's great. Go go to mangroomer.com. Wendy, yourself. do you have a big bush? A big like bush? Yes, I do. By your pussy, like a big bush? Yes, I do. Do you ever trim it? Yes, I do. With what? You don't go near that uh, thing with scissors, with, uh, do you? With a girl's shaver. Really? Do you ever, when you're wiping, accidentally get shit in the bush? Oh. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> then maybe you should shave clean. And then what do you do? <laughs> How do you get it out? Um, I, I wipe it with a baby wipe or take a shower or a bubble bath. A bubble bath. All right, thank you, Wendy. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> you know, there's sometimes you walk into the ladies' room and you wonder how it got in this condition. You know, Artie, if you worked at, like, um, Creedmoor, you'd be laughing at everyone all day. You'd have a fun day. Oh. Like, Geraldo went there and cleaned things up, you would be laughing. Oh, that kid cracks me up. But well, if Artie had it made it in show business, he probably would have been a guard at, at uh, Creedmoor. <laughs> Having a good laugh all day. But now I know how the ladies' room gets into that condition. Well, you got. You ever see a men's room? A ladies' room is like pristine. Are you kidding? I'm just shocked that the Roger Clemens trial is still going on. They just handed that trial to the jury right. yesterday. Yeah, like, didn't he's, that happen years ago? Well, he's accused of lying about steroid use. Well, he doesn't and want anyone to know if he used it. Yeah, John Edwards' trial started at the same time. He's already yeah. home, you know, vacationing, doing something. He's like, fuck and this. And that was about election fraud. Yeah. We are trying to catch a guy who took some steroids so he could pitch longer. Yeah. I don't get it. I know. It's kind of crazy, but yeah. uh, the like jury a, just got the, the case yesterday. Seems like a colossal waste of time. Speaking Absolutely. Of, and it costs taxpayers money. Robin, speaking of colossal waste of time, uh, Wendy the Retard is on the phone. Oh. Wendy, hi. Good to speak to you. Hey, Howard. Hey. I really need your help down here bad because I'm trying to get a bicycle and mm -hmm. I don't have $400 for a bicycle. Yeah, but Wendy. Do you, ha do you know how to ride a bike? Yes, I do. With you... training wheels? Yes. Oh. <laughs> You're too old for training wheels. I know, but I'm just... Robin, what do I do here? You know, I'm going to let you handle it, Robin. You're so much better with people than I am. Well, I... here's the deal. We were told that we were getting Wendy into trouble by giving her things. Yeah, we, we were... Oh, thank you. God bless you. <laughs> Robin, I mean, Wendy, we and were told... also, I've been getting in trouble, too, and getting stopped by the cops because I've been holding up donation signs trying to get money so I could get a bicycle, but the cops 
stop me and I have... First of all, let me be honest with you, Wendy. A good used bicycle is like 90 bucks. 400 bucks for a you bicycle. You have the top of the line bike for you. Right. You can't even ride it. The three wheeler with a basket on the back. Oh, I see. Well, Wendy, look, you know, you know, I've given you lots and lots of money in the past and I've been told and uh, that it is actually bad for me to give you money it's like um when they feed the pigeons in the park they say don't do it <laughs> and plus you owe me big time from christmas what and what? From my what birthday christmas my birthday came up my birthday came up and my mom was hoping that you was going to send me some money there so i can at least go out and have some fun because i've been sitting around the house going nuts yeah well first of all when did all of your teeth fall out uh since uh, since I've been drinking soda, going nuts because I can't never go out and have any fun because I have no extra Your teeth fell out because you can't go out and have fun? Yeah. Right, because you can sit at home and drink soda. Yes. And you drink the giant size sodas. Yes. Right. I mean, you, you don't care about calories. Yeah, no. the more, more no. ounces, the better. <laughs> you weigh like, what, 300-something plus pounds? I'll right? bet you Wendy wants I that bacon Sunday. I weigh 254 pounds. How much? 254. Yeah, are you, I, Robin's right. Are you going to go to the Burger King and get the new ice cream with the bacon on it? Yes. You, you'll eat <laughs> a lot of those, right? Yes. Yes, you love it. Yes. Yeah, and you'll probably make giant duties from all of that. Yes. Yes. And you'll also save money on toothpaste and toothbrush because you won't need it. You don't have any that's teeth right. anymore. That's right. Yes. Right. Well, that's one good thing, I guess. Do you have any teeth, Wendy? Or they I have them? one teeth. <laughs> <laughs> you have one tooth left? Yes. And I imagine your breath it smells like duty because you probably don't brush. Yes. Right. So when when people come up to you, they must go, oh, my God, Wendy, your breath is so stinky. Yes. Yeah. Wow. And Jason knows how I feel because he knows that I've been, I sent him a picture of the sign I've been holding up and trying to get donations done. And your, breath, and your breath smells like duty because sometimes you eat duty, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, jeez. What do you, how do you, how do you eat with one tooth? Easy. I crush it up and try and eat it. Mm -hmm. Oh, you crush it before you eat it? Yes. Wow. Wow. What do you like to eat with your one tooth? I like to eat hamburgers. Uh, and so let me understand something. A hamburger. You get, you take the hamburger and you rip off a piece. Yes. And then you mash it with your fingers. Yes. And once it gets into a, like a pulp-like sta state, you put it in your mouth and just swallow it? Yes. How oh. do you, but you can't taste it that much. No. Right. right. So, I have to add a lot of salt to it. Right. Salt. That's good. And then you... you so, so in other words, it's a process of you chewing with your hands. The food gets chewed with your hands, and then you swallow it. Yes. Wow. And plus, all the time I'm wearing diapers now is because I'm stressed, because I go nuts down here by just sitting in the house. You're wearing a diaper full-time now. Yes. You're sitting in the house. The, the, the bathroom is right there, Wendy. I can't make it all the time. I have bathroom problems. Yeah, but, but Wendy, you know as well. First of all, you know how to go to the bathroom, right? Yes. The problem is you're in the middle of something, and you and don't. You won't and you, you get stubborn, and you sh you just wait till this shit comes out. Yes. And and you um, you really do know that you can go to the toilet. You know how to do it. Yes. But every time I try and make it to the toilet, I miss the toilet, and I have to clean up my mm. bathroom mess before my mom comes home because she yelled at me last time when I shit well, all over the floor. Well, of course. <laughs> of course. And, course. And, and so she made you wear the diaper, right? Do you like wearing a diaper? Yes, it's a lot better than wearing underwear. And what do you do when you shit in your diaper? You, you, you It must be a huge bowel oh. movement. And you, you, oh. and you, have, it, you have it in the diaper. And then what do you do? You take the diaper and you wrap it up. And where do you throw the diaper? In the garbage can. Oh. In the garbage can. Is the garbage can outside or inside? Inside. Inside. Oh, boy. Maron, that mm. smell in that house must be ridiculous. Yes. Has your mom ever thought of getting you something like a litter box maybe you could go in? <laughs> yeah, like a cat. What? No or yes? Yes. Yeah, did you ever shit in a litter box? Uh, one time I did. You did, because you have Would a cat. Did you cover it? Yes. Yeah. Did you cover it like a cat covers it? Yes. You did. All right. My well. cat loves, my cat loves me. It sleeps with me. You have two cats, I remember. Yes. Yeah. And I have a cat now that has babies, so. But when you, you didn't spay the cat? No. I uh, What goes on in that Everything house? is wrong. How many kittens are there now? Three. Three. Oh, my God. And you and you remember to feed the cats. Yes. Right. And when you make a duty, do you, don't you realize if you take your diaper and you put it in the garbage can outside, the house won't smell. 
Yes. But you're too lazy to go outside. Yes. Right. And plus, also, I have to feed the pigs, too. Pigs? pigs. Yes. My brother pigs. Oh, your brother's a pig? No, my said my brother has pigs. That I oh, oh, oh. How many pigs? <laughs> he has three of them. Does he eat these or he just pets? They're just pets. I see. And and we have more baby pigs now. Oh, geez. Well, that's some scene. I'm over telling there. you, well, I don't uh, know what we can do. Now, Wendy, you, Wendy, honestly, exactly. Where Robin, are you going on our bike anyway? Yeah, and, and by the way, the bike will break you weigh so much. That's for built Not for a, a three wheeler. Yeah, but it's built for a child. Not one of those three wheels that has a bicycle. It's a big. Well, she needs exercise, for God's sake. Yeah. I never get exercise. You never get exercise? You can't go walking? I go walking, but when I. It's when I make money with my son, and that's when I get stopped by the cop, and my and I make my mom. And what does your sign say? Please help with any donations. And who who spelled this for you? Didn't you don't know how to spell donations? I had somebody write it for me. Who wrote it? Your mother? No, a homeless person. I see. Because, uh, I, you know, well, but you could take a walk without your sign and just to get the exercise. Yes, but I would like to go places on bikes. Two. Where are you going? If I want to get a store or something, I could go down the interstate or something on a bicycle. Oh, God. Now, I think that's dangerous. That? On the interstate? What is your ideal weight? What's your goal weight? My goal weight is 254. <laughs> and that's no, a, no, that's where you are. <laughs> that's what you weigh. They, they yes, can't, you that's hit what your I weigh. Oh, I see. You like that weight. You feel, you're, you're, you feel no, good. No, I don't like that way. That's why I would like to have a bicycle so I can ride around instead of going nuts in the house and going crazy, drinking soda, you know. R Wendy, but let me, you let tell Wendy. me you're going to get on the bike and go buy a soda. Wendy, how do you know the homeless person? wrote uh please give me money on this sign he might have written like rape me or something uh because i asked him what to put on it because he said he was going to help me write but who it knows off. if he's being on he it maybe they've written anything how about if it says like like kill the police or something that's why the cops keep arresting you they they see that you're anti-police if they, you don't even know what's on the sign you got to be careful out there uh jason has the picture i sent him the picture. all right as long as it says the right thing on there it does. I yeah. sent it to Jason. He knows. And I don't want you on a bike. You're going to get lost. I don't get lost. No, I don't. I don't know about that. Well, I'm just saying, I really need your help down here, Ben, because I'm. Uh, I because can't imagine her on the interstate, Robin. No, I, it doesn't sound like a good combination I, I have, to me. I have a lot of stuff I need to do too, and that's why I need a bicycle too. What else are you doing? Nothing. She's doing nothing. Right now, I'm sitting here trying to figure out how I'm going to get... Well, Wendy, listen to me. I, I, listen, Robin is right. We've been told by experts that giving you money is a bad thing. I'm not going to do that right now. I know I give you money from time to time, but I'm trying to be strong here and, and, and give you yeah, tough but love. You're, yeah, but my mom was told me that you was going to... No, she wasn't. Your mom told birthday. me you have money. Yeah, not much. But you got enough. You've got to learn how to spend your money wisely and stop with all the fast food. Yeah, I need extra money so I can get it. She told me to ask you to help me. She did? She did not. I, because Gary spoke to your mom, and she isn't saying that. Well, I. she told me to try to call you the other day and see if you can help me out with some money so I can get a bicycle or something. Because she's tired of me borrowing from her. What? Yeah, she's tired of her bother. All right, listen to me. I gotta go, Wendy. Yeah. Every but you. Time, every time I try to ask you, so you can never help me out. I was oh no. Oh, Are you crying? I always have to say or go down that house. You understand? But yeah. you gotta learn no sometimes. I don't get to go out on any much but the weekend. Well, Didn't we don't you get, get to go out. We don't. I don't get to go anywhere either. Robin, give her money for God's sake. <laughs> get so much. You know, Robin's is very cheap. Oh, uh, Wendy, I imagine you got a ton of money from the tooth fairy with all those teeth you lost. No, I don't. Have I don't you... have. I don't have anything right now. I can't believe this. Well, all right. Look, look, Wendy. I don't know what to do. Everyone's telling me it's not good to give you money, and then some. Because people you just... tell us you're going to get things. I don't know if you ever get them. She doesn't. Yes, I do. When my mom right there by me. Gary, do I have anything for her? She 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 wears me down. I I can't take it. I do have something for her. What do you have? 
I did. I just got this the other day. Oh, What's here we this? go. She wears no. me down every freaking time with the cry. I'm not taking your calls anymore after this time. All right. I mean, these, 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 these crocodile tears are, are, are ridiculous. We used to be able to talk to you. Now, every time it's a solicitation. Oh, God, she begs. Well, go ahead. This will keep us. Go this will keep you going to the end of the year, Wendy. Five hundred dollars. Oh, Wait, let me hear this again. Five hundred dollars from Steven Singer Jewelers. Visit IHateStevenSinger.com dot com today. Now, did you hear that? Yes. Now, this is. I I'm telling you, every time I say this, this is the last time. That's four hundred for the bike, and then you got an extra hundred to do whatever the hell you want to do. Okay. Now, what do you say? Thank you. Oh, thank you. Why don't you? Call Rush Limbaugh or Imus or some one of those guys and ask. Him I don't know Rush's number. Yeah, I guarantee he won't give you yeah. anything. Those Republicans, they hold on to every dime. And I do listen to Rush too with my mom. So you should be calling him. Hey, at least when she rides her bike, she won't need a helmet, right? I mean, oh God. Well, I mean, <laughs> how's she going to get a brain injury? Nothing to protect. Right. Wendy, be careful if you do buy a bike and check with your mom, okay? Okay. I, I you... want her to call us on the day she gets that bike. Yeah. Okay. All right, Wendy. Now, All right. leave me alone for a while, okay? All right. All right. All right. All right. I love you. I love you. All right, bye. Bye. That's Wendy the retard. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Had to pick up, didn't she? I'm never picking up her <laughs> phone calls. She sits there. First of all, she was on the phone since 530 this morning. Oh. She sits and waits. Jeez. She's you persistent. Know. They say that's how you get things in life. Yeah. All right. Well, maybe you're right. She does have a determination. Oof. A bike on the interstate. Yeah. A three-wheel <laughs> yeah. bike. I don't even think she'll use the money for of a bike. Of course not. Her mom supervises her. She's so. going to buy more big gulps and yeah. bacon Sunday. When we send her money, the mom gets the money. So at least she's, she does. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. Uh -huh. Wendy doesn't know how to cash a check. Oh, you can't put it in Wendy's name. No. <laughs> All right, Robin. Anything else you want to mention? Wendy the Retard sent me a couple. Thank you, Richard. Wendy Thank the you. Retard sent me a bunch of voicemails. What is she up to? Uh, well, up to 80. <laughs> you know, I told her the last time I gave her money, that's it. You can never call me again if you need money. But she explained that she had no money for food and no money for anything. Well, she doesn't really need anything. Right. Well, <laughs> now, but now she has a really lame plea. Like, she wants money, but this is incredible. Like, She's just bored, but, yeah. which is never going to pull so up my... So could you give her money because she's bored? But I was thinking about it. When you're retarded, like, you know, to me, like, I was busy all weekend with my phone, my new phone. Like, yeah. when you're retarded, what do you fill your day up with, you know? But although she should well, work... Well, everything should be a challenge when you're retarded. I guess because, <laughs> like, like Gary the retard works, and I was thinking about Wendy. Like, like Gary said, there's a girl way more retarded at his local grocery store, and she bags groceries. And she's way more retarded than Wendy, and Wendy could definitely bag she could groceries. She bag groceries. But maybe Wendy has one of those things where, you know, she can't just do anything for any length of time. I don't know. But anyway, here she is. Here's her message. Hi, Howard. It's me, Wendy. I was wondering if you can send me some money down here by this weekend so I can have some fun because I'm tired of sitting at the house bored with nothing freaking effing to do. And my and I wanted to take my friend out to a nice restaurant after bowling, so we can eat our dinner because my friend don't get out much either, and I wanted to take her out to a nice restaurant, but I don't have the money to do it with. So if you can, please, because I'm freaking tired of sitting around here having nothing else to do. Sounds like a hardy. Bored. <laughs> So then she calls back because she she didn't get any response from us, you know. She and she knows I'm Why a soft can't touch. Why did her friend take her to dinner? Nah, I don't know. I think the friend's retarded too. <laughs> now you always say you're sitting around the house bored, Artie. Yeah, but this Wednesday this show. But uh, you two should get together. What if the friend's hot or something? You know. Uh, come on. <laughs> if you was me, you was you would be sitting around here bored as hell <laughs> with nothing to do. With nothing to do, you know, it sucks. I have to sit here and wait to go out maybe on the weekends to hang out with my friend after bowling, go to her house. But other than that, I sit here almost 
I love five sitting in the house. I would love to sit in my house five She's days a week. She's sitting there five days a week. Yeah, but you we see, are envious of her. But I've got an imagination, so like, you know, she but just she sitting. She can read a book. I don't know about that. I don't think so. Oh, stop. I don't. A little baby book. <laughs> a little baby book? <laughs> oh, you mean like Us Magazine? <laughs> yeah. For the pictures? Uh, I read Us Magazine. I don't think I've actually ever read a word of it. I just look at the pictures. <laughs> And why does Wendy need to go to a nice restaurant? Doesn't she eat her own feces? Yeah. You know. Well, do we have um, do we have evidence of that? Or I, I mean, I think <laughs> she told, told us. Oh, she four. <laughs> With nothing to do. That's why if I had some money, I could go out and have a little fun with my friend or well, something. Have a shit burger. I forgot about that. But I have to sit around here, wait till I get my money on the first, and it sucks. Because right now, I'm broke. She gets her money on the first and spends it all. And I hate to borrow money from my mom this Saturday. And it sucks. She'd rather because take my money mom from has you. no money whatsoever. And, you know, I will probably will have to pay her back whatever she gives me this weekend. And it sucks. It sucks because I have to borrow money from my mom. And I don't want to do that. Well, whatever. I guess... Oh, I guess whenever I guess I'll go uh, watch TV or go out for a walk or something because there you go. to respond or forward, <laughs> press one. I'll go out for a walk. That would be a good idea. Well, you know, she loves karaoke. She loves TV. I don't know. Why you, isn't she doing that? She drums? Call. Where are her drums? You ought to call her. I bet a mother threw those drums out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was insane. <laughs> Why would you get Wendy to retard a drum? She's mentioning stuff that she's done, and yeah, quite frankly, this is a person's life. You got it. Most people are bored. Yeah. Wow. I've never been bored my entire life. A lot well, of people... all she can do is wait to go bowling and then go to her friend's house to hang out. Yeah. Pretty wild, huh? So she's fishing around for some money. She might just get some because it, she she breaks my heart that retard. But you know what? She is literally the definition of bored to tears. Yeah. She's crying. She's crying. She's bored to tears. That's where the, they developed that expression around Wendy when she was born. This kid's born to tears. Bored. Bored. I mean. And we're we're tearing up ourselves. Yeah. It's too much. Those are pretty good, huh? Yeah. I hate to say I love her miserable messages. I know. Mm. I, I played you.